killer guy. Me and you, you got big, I got big. Yo, niggas try to sit on me and make history, supposedly. <laughs> You already know what it is, man. Salute to every single one of y'all. It's your man, Vada Fly. I tell you, my mind said hi. Shout out to my brother, Showtime SP. If I'm up talking to you this early, somebody might have got 30, man. How them parlays go last night, man? I got one, man. One of my parlays went good, man. I picked the Magic. I had a uh, whole lot bring it up there to you. I, I had one that lost, though. You know what I'm saying? I had the motherfucker Magic. Uh, I picked uh, Orlando, uh, Boston, Minnesota Timberwolf. Kansas and Yukon, you know what I'm saying? I got off with a little five pick spread, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna start I'm gonna start throwing my picks out there when I pick some of these games, you know what I'm saying? Because that's just some of the things that I like to do. So, you know, I ran down a little five pick last night, you know what I'm saying? I try to keep me a couple parlays out there, make a couple plays, keep my thing woman. Um it's a it's like three different subjects I'm gonna talk about this morning, but uh all of them have their own funny things in them. So, uh Miss Miami uh, Rider battled and then Murder Mook, you know what I'm saying? Unfortunately, Murder Mook, I seen a rest video of him last night. I'll talk about that. Um, but Miss Miami pulled the Miss Miami, being Miss Miami. I got that stick. I got that tool. I'm yeah. packing. I don't know what you fishing for, but after this, I got a ride and I'll be camped in your hood. <laughs> Bitch, we in the trap. Only one of our niggas stamped in the hood. Oh, oh, that oh, one. That, 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 that one. one. Oh, that oh, one. Oh, that one got drunk and beat the fuck up in the street. Come on, my nigga. Because she's Miss Miami, and it is Miss Miami, so you're gonna get Miss Miami when you book Miss Miami. So you should expect a Miss Miami to pull a Miss Miami when it's Miss Miami. Why is it name Miss Miami if she's from Philly anyway? But anyway, yo, this shit is crazy. So anyway, she's booked on a trap. She's battling Bonnie Godiva. Twitter's starting to do their little thing. I see some tweets about it, you know what I'm saying? People talking about it. Shout out to the trap, no mercy, everything that they put together over there. You know what I'm saying? I'm seeing the tweets. IP's hosting it. Dope little vibe, intimate setting. Boom. Tweets is going back and forth. My man AC though, he's watching it. He's tweeting. They dropping videos and everybody's woman about it. I told you, I wasn't watching no battle rap yesterday, you know what I'm saying? I got shit to do, took my family bowling. So anyway, um, I'm watching the clips, I'm keeping up with it, you know what I'm saying? There's other people that making sure it's going down. Next thing you know, I'm thinking to myself, wow. I'm thinking to myself, <laughs> Miss Miami is gonna make it through a battle. Cause they got two rounds through, and it was getting to the third round. Like I said, my man, he putting the clips out there. I'm like, shit gonna make it through a battle. Hell no. Nah. Third round, boom. Boom, what do we got, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got, ladies and gentlemen? Miss Miami pulls a fucking Miss Miami. Are you kidding me, bro? No, 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 absolutely not. Bro, she's still pulling this bullshit in 2024, my nigga. You get a fucking L, my nigga, that is an L, bro. And I seen the footage and seen what happened. Bonnie, shout out to Bonnie and everything that she's got going on. She been doing her battle rap shit recently. She been reaching out. She been doing interviews. She's uh, got a war coming up. She's got some other battles coming up. And it seems like she's really trying to do the right thing, like as far as battling and you know being there for the culture and spinning her balls and staying focused. Because there's very few artists that's gonna actually reach out, try to set up interviews, try to promote their battles and shit. And she is one of them. So I gotta give her props for that. And she just had a kid not too long ago and still doing the groundwork and the legwork to keep her career flowing. She's rapping to her. <clears throat> saying about only one stamp and one of our, one of our niggas is stamped in the street and she's talking about a dude that she was her, her people's so then you know Miss Miami starts the wolfing my nigga is stamped ba 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 I'm like oh <laughs> Miami come on we we know your man st <laughs> stamp gotta be one of I'm not even gonna he, I'll be here talking for half an hour about him you know what I'm saying he's got so much wild weird out of control shit that's happened. He was the one that jumped when that white boy, William Wolf, had said the N-word. He the one that had jumped in front of him with the oh, oh, oh protecting him. Then he then y'all had the situation of where stamp at when you and Coffee Brown was about to be up there fighting. Now it's this fight. I just said if you book Miss Miami, you book her at your own risk. I told Mercy when I seen the card, I was talking to Mercy, I said, I, I, said, I, I ain't gonna tell you, you know you tell your man. If you like it, I love it. I'm not gonna tell you what to do with your money, but he about to buy a car or some shit that you know he probably should not buy, and you don't want him to buy it because once he buys it and the shit break down, who we gonna? <laughs> it was the same situation. That's all I like with Mercy, man. 
I like Ishmoolah, I like Riggs, I like this, I like that. You got Swift Millie on the car, you got Trap, Trap, Trap. I see her name on that card, I said, hell no. She gonna fuck this card up. You know, looking at me? <laughs> I bet you don't worry about book her ass no more. You book Miss Miami, you are booking a fucking problem. It's happened way too many times for me to even sit there and justify or act like you don't know that there's a potential that some shit is gonna happen. Soon as I seen her name on the card, and when I seen her make it through two rounds, I said, oh shit, they gonna make it through? Hell no, nah, they ain't making it through. They ain't, I should've put that on my parlay. I should've put that that battle was not gonna finish on my parlay, I would've won more money than I did last <laughs> This shit is crazy, son. Like, Miami, yo, you, you cannot just go anywhere and act like anything. Because a lot of y'all be going to these events and acting like hoodlums and you're not paying. It's not your money. You ain't got... Let, let me tell y'all something, right? Because this is a Sunday. We're going to call this, this is Sunday school right here. Because I'm going to get the other one, too. You cannot be doing blogs about Vada Fly all week and your artist lost. I'm going to get to you in a second. Don't you think I forgot. And Mook, I'm going to get to you, too. So anyway, <laughs> Miami... Y'all don't pay for security, you don't pay for the venue, nope. you don't pay for the camera, nope. you don't pay for the other artists, you don't pay for the pay-per-view stream, you don't pay for the host, you don't pay for the food, you don't pay for the you don't pay for nothing that's going on, that's eight or nine things you don't pay for in there. You ain't paying for Riggs flight, because Riggs ain't coming up there to battle for free, and you ain't paying his, his, his money, his hotel, you ain't paying, that's like nine or ten different things you're not paying to make this event happen. And y'all in there acting like a goddamn fool. And it's not Bonnie's fault, because Bonnie was rapping, you was talking during her shit. That can't happen, bro. It can't. It can't. Because you, you come to a person's event, you fuck the event up, the battle can't happen no more. Now the footage ain't even worth happening, because the battle didn't even end. Because of Miss Miami. But I kind of got to be like, nurse, no mercy, like my nigga, you knew what you was booking. You know what I'm saying? Like, do she got an outstanding track record? Is she one of those people who you think is going to be on her best fucking behavior? Absolutely not. Miami gonna act like Miami, and there you got it. You know what I'm saying? And if you book her again, this is what you're gonna get. She gonna talk through people around, she gonna do all this extra shit, and then there you go. And then Stamp gonna come through and do some super goofy shit, and then the battle's gonna be over. It's just how it goes, you know what I'm saying? Because this tough guy, this tough Tony shit, everybody wanna be a fucking tough guy for the camera and all this other shit. Like, bro, we can't just go to a battle rap and just enjoy the event and do our thing. You don't have to talk during somebody's round. That's all, that's a thousand percent on Miss Miami why that shit happened last night. That shit is not on Bonnie in no way, shape, or form. She's rapping her round. We heard way worse than that. Yo, only nigga that's stamped in the street. And then you gonna jump out your body and start talking and all that. Make him do it. Tell him do it. Nah, 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 you a dub. <laughs> nah, absolutely not. You're a dub. It's a dub. Y'all book her. You know what you're booking. <laughs> I'm just saying. Um. Moving on, shout out to iBattle. They had their Folic Soldiers card three yesterday, you know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all check that out on the VOD. A lot of dope battles. I'm hearing a lot of good things from it. I did see some of the battles on the card last night. It was real late, though. I fall asleep, waking up, falling asleep. But one battle that I did see was Ryder versus Death the Kid. I saw that this morning at the gym. Oh, okay. We ain't scared of death. This was on the other side of it. Ryder, Ryder was, Ryder was fucking in his bag. Now, I'm going to say this. Death the Kid... He was good. We'll do an in-depth breakdown. I'll probably get SP involved, but I got Ryder winning this battle 2-1 or 3-0. Oh. I'm going to be honest. He was in his fucking bag, and all the timeline is pretty much saying the same thing. You think I'm lying? You think I'm lying? Right. Ryder went crazy. Death did good, but Ryder was in another bag. Ryder was fucking death up. Ryder was wilding in this battle. Death and Ryder going down. Nah, Ryder still on one. Ryder 2-1. Ryder cooked in the first, Ryder's different tonight. Ryder run, Ryder, Ryder, Ryder. Nigga, the whole motherfucking timeline is talking about one nigga. The timeline is talking about Ryder. Ryder was in his bag. Ryder just came off of a battle with a uh, two on two battle with uh, Henny Man and them on Battle uh, Academy. A lot of niggas were saying Ryder should have did the battle by himself. <laughs> I, I swear. <laughs> No disrespect to nobody, man, but I definitely see comments saying Ryder should have did shit by himself. Anyway, Ryder was wildin'. Uh, to me, I got him beating Death the Kid 2-1, if not 3-0. It's funny as shit. When your man, this ain't this the shit I was talking about? Don't be doing no Vada blogs, no two, three hour live streams about everything that got to go on with me and your fucking artist is up there losing. Hey, yo, what the fuck? 
nigga. This is the shit I be talking about. And I told Ryder, I ain't gonna lie, I told Ryder before he before he even went out that motherfucker. I texted that nigga yesterday, I sure did. I said, work today. You already know, fool. I told that nigga early, go out there and kick his ass so I can come here and tell you about it. <laughs> you up there doing Vada blogs and your artist up there getting his ass kicked. And like, nigga, what made you the nigga to jump out the window and just get the... I'm so flabbergasted, bro. <laughs> I am flab I am flabbergasted, bro. I'm flabbergasted, bro. Oh god, I'm so confused, bro. These niggas got me fucked up. This the shit I be talking about. You worried about the wrong motherfucking thing. I keep telling y'all ass. You worried about me being in the military and all this other shit. You not concerned about the war that your fucking artist is in. So shut up, mind your goddamn business, and don't talk about no shit that I get saluted for. Everywhere I go, you bitch ass niggas should salute me too. But that's another story. Your artist got his ass whooped, and what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Tony Macaroni, what the fuck are you doing to help your artist, nigga? How about that? I told you, you didn't even recap the JC shit, but you're recapping me. I told you, bitch ass niggas, I'm gonna keep my hand around your throat for the rest of the year, and I'm gonna talk about you whenever I want, and ain't nobody gonna do nothing about it. But yeah, your artist lost. Shout out to Def the Kid, pretty good talent. He had some bars in there, but my son Ryder, I texted that nigga before he went in there. I said, oh no, oh, you part of this? You win it, you get it. Conference finals between the Celtics and the Miami Heat. Boston with a three to two edge. Smoke that nigga, fool. I text that nigga, I swear to God, look. <laughs> you think I'm playing? Hey, hey Tony, you think I'm fucking playing? <laughs> Y'all niggas think I'm fucking playing. I told that nigga. Look at that bitch, I told that nigga right there. <laughs> work, fool, work, fool. I told that nigga right there. <laughs> Y'all niggas fucking you see it or not. Fuck you niggas. Work today. I told that nigga, man. Work, fool. Look at this shit right there. Think I'm playing, nigga.